What's up YouTube, Jeff back again. Today, Samsung just keeps these updates coming and coming and coming. They've got two new updates for the GoodLock module, and I've had quite a few issues with the GoodLock module, bugs and things like that. A lot of you have told me in the comments that you have as well. So if you've been having bugs with GoodLock, this is something you're definitely gonna wanna pay attention to. You can find this inside the Galaxy Store, so open up your Galaxy Store app. And then when you go into the Galaxy Store app, you're gonna go to Menu, you'll navigate over to Updates, and there's actually quite a few Samsung updates rolling out today, but the two I wanna talk about are Theme Park and Home Up, which are two of the good lock modules I use the most for icon packs, custom icon packs, uh, and also Home Up to change things like my app drawer, which a lot of people ask about, how do you change the app drawer? So before I, I'm gonna go ahead and do the updates live, but let me show you guys the update info. The new version, fixed theme colors, such as keyboards, galleries, and home, Fix the bug of icon pack function. That's the thing I'm really looking forward to here. I'm hoping Theme Park will fix the issues with the icon packs applying improperly and also some of the icons disappearing. And then in Home Up right here, the most recent update, disable the favorites maximum count menu on the tablet devices. So that'll be great for the tablet devices and fix some errors. Hopefully it's gonna fix some of the lagging errors and Home Up also has caused some problems with icon packs not showing up correctly in the app drawer. So I'm hoping those things will be fixed. So I'm gonna go ahead and update both of them. Let's go in here and update Theme Park. The update's 13.26 megabytes. Now, if this doesn't show up for you inside your Galaxy Store, what you can do is go to APK Mirror, and I'll drop the link below if it's available, and download the APK and sideload it. I've shown how to do this in previous videos. And so we'll, we'll drop that down there in the pinned comment if you wanna grab it. Samsung does roll these out in stages, so it doesn't happen for everybody at the same time, so just keep that in mind. So if you tap on Home Up, let's go ahead and update that. Let's see how large the update is. 22.24 megs on this one. And so we're gonna just browse over to Good Lock and see if we see any noticeable changes. Now, I have noticed that Good Lock over time has definitely been a little more buggy than I would like. So let's go into the good lock module. I'll actually show you where these two modules are. So if you scroll down, home up is right here. And uh, just for people that are interested, the uh, couple things that people always ask me about is first the task changer. This is how I get the grid style task changer like this is using home up. And uh, then also with the home screen, you can go into your apps list and change it to the vertical apps list. And that's how I have the apps list like this. So I don't see any noticeable visual changes to features or anything like that. But hopefully these bugs are gonna be squashed, especially when it comes to issues with icons not appearing uh, in the app drawer. And then over here, you've got theme park on the family part of the good lock tab. Theme park, let's see if we see any visual changes here. So most of these seem to be bug improvements, but that's really what they needed to improve. I don't see any new features in here. They've changed them, the colors and tweak things. You see, I've got my keyboard with Keys Cafe. That's gonna obviously be tweaked a little bit too. We'll open that up and just take a look. And then the icon packs here. Let me reapply my Vera icon pack and see if some of my icons that were not there before show up. Yeah, it looks like all my icons are there now because before some of them didn't show up in the list. So maybe this is going to improve that issue. Let's also take a quick look just for fun at the keyboard. I don't see any huge color changes with the keyboard. I think they're talking about the saturation of the colors, but I'll have to test that a little further. So anyway, two big updates if you use good lock. Hopefully these are gonna improve some of those smoothness issues, some of those problems we've been having and bugs with the icon packs. Let me know what you guys see if you download it. Like I said, the link will be below in the description and in the pinned comment. I appreciate you guys checking out this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification icon for future videos like this. You guys can find me at dopetechdaily.net. If you want to join our May giveaway, we're giving away a flagship device. I'll drop the link below. That's right here on my Twitter page as well. Appreciate you checking out this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.